Welcome back to Midwest Magnum. I'm Kurt. Today I'm doing the 25 round follow up on the FMK 9C1 G2. I'm just going to call it the FMK from now on. I've had a few people on the website, and in fact, the timing is perfect. I just had someone on YouTube ask for the follow up when it was coming out, like we had promised in our first video. So today, we're here with the 2500 round follow up on the FMK in this review at Midwest Magnum. Whoops. Today's review is brought to you by Central Arms. Central Arms offers retail gun sales focusing on special orders for hard to find firearms, ammunition, and accessories. We get a lot of our inventory from Central Arms and they are awesome. Visit their website at centralarmsmp.com. So this gun is broken in pretty well, uh, 2,500 rounds through it. We use Stoger as the platform to compare to. This hasn't broken in like a Stoger, but it's improving every day. A much better gun than the first time we shot it. So the FMK is very reliable. 2,500 rounds, we've only had four malfunctions, although I'm not done for the day, could have another. Um, accuracy is pretty good. I have more accurate guns. It does have the Glock compatible sights that we can switch out, so I will probably switch out the ring, the uh, back sight for a ghost ring, but it's still accurate. Uh, some of that's on me, but when I shoot the Stoger, I shoot my Canik, um, the Beretta, my Glock, the accuracy is there. So maybe I'm just not used to this yet, but after 25 rounds, I sure would think I had a feel for it. But um, it's still accurate. I'm not going to say it's not accurate. It's just not as accurate as some of the other pistols I have. But in the misses, they're minuscule. So, not something I would complain about. Um, still a reliable gun, very reliable, and the accuracy is adequate enough. It will definitely be a good self-defense pistol. Yeah, I had to say it, didn't I? There's number five. If I had to say when the break-in point is on this gun, I'd say it's somewhere between five and 600 rounds. With a fast action trigger mechanism for the shooting enthusiast who prefers a quick short trigger pull with a drop freeze magazine or the extra safe action inspired by a double action only configuration with a mag out safety, FMK Firearms has you covered either way. The 9C1 G2 is ergonomically built to comfortably fit both large and small hands. The barrel is engineered to sit low for a superior point and shoot accuracy and reduce muzzle flip. The rubberized backstrap not only effectively reduces felt recoil, it hugs and grips the palm of the shooting hand to provide a comfortable positive grip. The result is a grip that seems to mold to the shooter's hand instead of having to mold your hand to fit the grip. One thing I have to say that's really grown on me is this rubber back strap. But it is this rubber pad on the back of the grip. When I first saw that, I'm like, that is so stupid. It actually let it, it when they say it grips into you instead of you gripping into it, it's true. Mm -hmm. And it takes, since it's got some more recoil, it takes a little bit of that away. Yeah. It definitely takes out some of the recoil and it really, it, it grips into your hand real well, nice and high, nice and tight, and it's comfortable. The FMK 9C1 G2 has a barrel length of 4 inches with an overall length of 6.85 inches. Its height is 5.09 inches and overall width is 1.14 inches. It weighs in at 23.45 ounces unloaded and has a capacity of 14 plus 1. The Massachusetts and California compliant models come with a capacity of 10 plus 1. The reset, I don't know if you can see how well you can see it. It's a, it's a really short reset. Yeah, really works. short, and it's it's nice. 
It's not, so it's not bad. It's it's, it's not the, bad. It's a heavy trigger. Trigger hasn't changed at all. It's still really heavy going down in till it hits the wall, and then it's got a crunchy release. You can even hear it. It's click click. So um, that hasn't improved much. The rest of the gun functions well. You do adapt to that feeling of the trigger. I know the fast action trigger is the way to go. I have not updated this yet. I do plan on it. Um, it's worth it. I, at this point, I will commit to putting in the fast action trigger. Everybody that has suggested that said it makes a huge difference. I wanted to run this 25 rounds as is, out of the box, factory trigger. And now you can understand why everybody wants to get that fast action trigger. So that will be my next upgrade on this pistol. Um, I just wanted to make sure that it was worthy of that and worth the investment. And it is. Um, after 2,500 rounds through this gun, I like it. I do like it. I would trust my life with it. It's still not going to be one of my favorite pistols. But for $200, this is what I got it for, it's a deal. It's a fantastic gun for that price range. Our scoring system consists of three components, construct, performance, and maintenance, each having three additional subcomponents with each of these subcomponents evaluated at 33.3%. The scores are then tallied up and divided by three for an overall rating. Midwest Magnum considers any score above 85% to be a quality firearm. As you can see, the FMK 9C1 G2 scored an 89% with an overall b rating. This is not the California or Massachusetts model. It has 14 plus one. It is a single action trigger. California and Massachusetts compliance only come with 10, mag, uh, 10 round mags and it's double, double action only. And you'll notice that based on the way the trigger here is kind of straight down, the double action will actually go forward. It'll be much further out. We're going to do the trigger test now, see how heavy the trigger pull is. That might have been wrong. 9.8, That's about what it feels like. Yep, we're getting 6.6 .6 now a couple times. So between six and seven pounds. So. It's a heavy trigger. First trigger pull on the follow-up is 5-2, then 4-6, another 4-6, 4-8. So the new six pull average after 2,500 rounds is five pounds. I will say one of the other drawbacks with this gun is how dirty it gets. You can see even the mag, it's extremely dirty. I have cleaned this mag several times. Look at how dirty that is. So this was cleaned just before we came and I put about 150 rounds through today and we're back to filth. Um, the gun I've only cleaned, cleaned one time and it gets dirty real quick. So this will be a gun that you need to take care of and you are gonna need to clean it. Today I'm shooting Magtech nine millimeter, full metal jacket and 115 grain. We've put through a number of different ammunitions into this gun and it seems to handle all of it really well. Another thing that I'm not really a huge fan of is Obviously, I bought the $200 deal. Um, it was a package that came with one mag. It only comes with one mag. It was pathetic. It came in a cardboard box, and it's been near impossible to get other mags. They're always sold out. Um, so that's kind of a, been a frustrating thing for me. Once you unload the gun, you got to reload it and reload it. I always like having extra mags so I can just continually stay in my cadence, but with time, I'll find some mags. So again, the positives on this gun, one, very affordable. Two, I, this has just grown on me. I can't say it enough. 
this rubber back strap, at first I thought, look at how bulged out that is. After you get used to it, and it sits right in the crook of your palm, when you get used to that, the recoil resistance it takes um, makes a big difference. And it feels, even though it's not a very comfortable grip, that rubber pad makes it comfortable. It makes it ergonomically fit your hand in a comfortable way without a comfortable grip, if that makes sense. Uh, I like the reliability. I like the accuracy. Uh, I don't like the trigger. That trigger is just way too crunchy, way too heavy. Not much other besides that that I don't like. I don't like how much you have to clean it. And again, uh, you could blame that on the ammo. But we've put through cheap ammo to good ammo, and it got dirty at the same level. The biggest thing is, in a budget-friendly gun like this, is reliability and accuracy. And this is definitely a good gun on both of those. So the question is, would I buy it again? I would. For $200 good gun i like it it's not going to knock your socks off but it's reliable so the 25 round follow-up still like the fmk it is a really nice pistol and be great for home defense thanks for watching our video make sure to hit the subscribe button the like button and the alerts so that you don't miss any of our future videos and by the way that logo right there you can click that to subscribe. So show us how good your aim is. That logo right there. That one. Go ahead. Click it.